From the resignation of Benedict XVI to the election of Pope Francis, 2013 will be remembered as a historic year for generations to come. And even though 2013 will be hard to top, the Vatican's communication advisor says 2014 already has a lot of things in store. I mean, we've talked a lot about change. We'll see what the changes are that Pope Francis has in store. And clearly he does plan to go to the Holy Land and that in itself will be, will be quite a story. After being named Person of the Year by Time magazine, Pope Francis has caught the attention of millions of Catholics and the world. Interestingly, back in 1994, Burke was already working in Rome as a Time correspondent when John Paul II was chosen by the magazine. When Time made John Paul II Man of the Year, that was a bit of a surprise. It was no surprise this year when Time made Pope Francis Man of the Year. In just a few months, the Vatican has managed to strengthen its online presence even more. The Pope's Twitter account has more than 11 million followers, and pictures of the Pope have made their way across the globe. More improvements are on their way. The Vatican's communications department recently announced it hired one of the world's top management consulting firms. There are a lot of changes in store, okay, I never thought I'd get to the day where McKinsey was looking at the communications of the Vatican, but uh, certainly uh, anything that can be done to help integrate things, to bring the message together. But he does admit that when it comes to communication, it's Pope Francis who's leading the way by focusing on the core message of the gospel. Was we got simplicity at its best, the Pope saying, God loves you, God forgives you, come back home. And even though a lot has happened, Pope Francis has only been pontiff for less than a year. So another highlight for 2014 is that on March 13th, he'll celebrate his first year as head of the Catholic Church.